So, how many of you have been invited to Christmas dinner and sat and talked about vaginas all night? <laughs> well, that happened to me. As a recent immigrant from South Africa to New Mexico, I was at Christmas dinner one night, and three weeks later, I was inside Madison Square Garden listening to 18,000 people, including Jane Fonda, Oprah Winfrey, Claire Danes, all scream the word vagina in a performance of Eve Ensler's The Vagina Monologues. That was 12 years ago. I've been sucked down the vagina rabbit hole, <laughs> and it's changed my life. Working at V-Day, the global grassroots movement that Eve founded in 1998, I and thousands of women around the world have all said the word vagina millions of times in our efforts to end violence against women and girls. We've said the word when nobody else would, with over 5,000 annual performances in more than 145 countries in more than 50 languages, from Cairo to Peru, from Iceland to India in theaters, in churches, in town halls, and most recently, on the steps of the Michigan Capitol. The word vagina, I've learned that it's a really powerful word. It's not a scary word or a taboo word. It's really a transformative word, vagina. Saying the word has enabled thousands of women to turn their pain into power, their fear into courage, and their anger into activism. This August in Nairobi, we convened 50 activists from 17 countries in Africa, including Dr. Dennis Mugwege, who last week um, survived an assassination attempt on his life for talking out about vaginas and the desecration of them in the Congo. On the first day as we gathered, we asked to go around the room and ask the women to say, and the men, to say the word vagina in their native language. And it was really, Fascinating, so many of them who work on ending female genital mutilation, war in rape zones, couldn't say the word vagina. They giggled and laughed and felt shy. And some even said the word didn't even exist in their language. But over the course of the three days, we spoke the word vagina, we shared stories, and we convened a way of how to mobilize the women and men of Africa to stop the violence. And the last day, Binta from Guinea stood up and said to us, the night before, she had gone back to her hotel room, and for the first time ever, she had looked at her vagina. And she wondered aloud to us why she'd never done that before. But she said it had made her commit double, double her efforts to commit to ending violence in Guinea with the women, and that she herself would never allow anyone ever to violate her sexually again, not even her husband. The United Nations says that one in three women will be raped or beaten in their lifetime. If you do the math, that's one billion women on the planet today. In New Mexico, one in four women will be raped or stalked, and one in three will experience domestic violence. Out of the million women in New Mexico, that's 250,000 women in the state alone. We at Vida refuse to stand by as more than a billion women on the planet are violated. So on February 14th, 2013, we're inviting one billion women and the men who love them to one billion rising. It's a mobilization globally to invite people to rise, strike and dance, to say no more violence, we've had enough. And as Vida invites the planet to rise, I'm inviting the one million women in this state and the men and all of you in the audience here to stand with us in New Mexico, be bold, be brave, and say no more violence here either. So here are three things you can do to activate your vagina. <laughs> and that includes the men who hold the vagina sacred too. The first thing is say the word vagina. If you can't say it, you can't protect it. Let's hear it. Vagina. 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 Thank you. <laughs> Number two is don't wait to be rescued. When we mobilize ourselves, our mothers, our daughters, our grandmothers, our aunts, our sisters, and the men who are with us, we have the power to change what happens to our vaginas. And the third thing is vote for your vagina's safety. This week, you have the power to determine who legislates for your vagina. Make sure you choose someone 
who can say the word vagina. <laughs>